Hello, today I thought I'd do some writing tips for you. They're for aspiring writers, for children, for anybody who's interested. And today I'm going to talk about where do ideas come from? It's a question I'm asked a lot when I'm out in schools, when I'm with writers. They all want to know where do you get your ideas from? Now, ideas can come from anywhere. Uh, they can come from headlines, uh, they can come from magazines, they can come when I'm out walking, I might see something, I might hear a snippet of a conversation. Um, when I was getting ideas for flight, I was actually googling um, questions on the Second World War and what had happened to various things. Um, I asked the question, what had happened to the Spanish Riding School during the Second World War? And what happened was, well, what came up was this photo. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, this photo is of, let me try and point, that there is General Patton, and that there is the director of the Spanish Riding School. Now, please forgive me, for my uh, pronunciation, because it's really difficult. It's Director Aloysius Podesky, uh, but I'm going to call him the director because I can't keep pronouncing that. Now, this photograph is supposed to be them at the end of a um, performance that the Spanish Riding School did in front of General Patton um, supposedly at the beginning of May in 1945. Now, there was some discussion about this um, as to whether this performance was done in order to convince the general to go and save the mayors for the Spanish Riding School or not. There is no proof that this is the case or whether this was going ahead anyway. Um, and that operation, the saving of the um, horses, the mares that were in Czechoslovakia at Hostam, um, was called Operation Cowboy and was an actual event. And I started researching that. And this is where the Americans negotiated with the Germans to allow them to go across through the German lines to Hostau to rescue. There is some debate whether it was hundreds or up to a thousand horses at Hostau. Um, in Hostau was this uh, national stud that Hitler had set up um, because he wanted the perfect horse as well. And the American army drove these horses back through the German lines, cowboy style. Now, can you imagine how amazing that would have looked to have seen all these horses being driven back, cowboy style, back through the German lines? Now, this started me thinking, and this is when I asked the what if question. Now, this is where ideas come up. You ask the what if question. What if that happened? What if this happened? What if those? What if children started rescuing horses? What if they started saving them? How would that happen? Who would they be? What would they? And that's when the story for flight started to um, develop in my head. Because that's what it's all about, is you get a nugget of a thought and you start asking the questions. Now, I have a notebook because you never stop having ideas and you should never stop. And I always write them down in my notebook whenever I get a potential idea. Just in case, because I don't want to forget them. And I'm not showing you what mine are because I might need them later. <gasps> and if I show them now, I might have to shoot you. So they're all in here, ready, waiting for my next stories. But as I say, an idea can come to you at any time. I might see it in 
a newspaper. I might hear something on the news. At the moment, thousands of ideas are coming my way because of what we're, what we're going through. You know, it's like we're living in our own dystopian fiction. It's weird, but also very interesting. Um, I also will look at problem pages in magazines, um, particularly when I was writing YA fiction, because they are a really good source for um, ideas. Um, as I say, newspapers, magazines, sitting in coffee shops, watching other people, listening into conversations, which is a bit rude, really, but um, as long as you don't do it so that it's obvious. Though having said that, my children do sometimes get cross with me because they say I'm not listening to them because I'm too busy listening to other people. But sit and people watch. I make up stories. I watch people as they're going past and I'm thinking, what are their stories? Where are they going? Who are they going to see? Are they going to see a magician? Are they on an adventure? <gasps> Where could they be going? Are they going to go and save somebody? Perhaps they're going to save the last ever white rhino. You, you, you can let your imagination run away with you. It is the best thing ever, escaping into your story world. That's what I do a lot. So what if is really important. And you will often hear people say as well, to write what you know. But writing what you know can be a little boring because my life is pretty boring, if I'm honest. So I also write what I want to know what I want to learn about, what I want to find out, because I love doing research. I like finding out about things. Some of you may know that um, I am a children's writer, but I'm also an academic. So I teach in the university and I teach people how to write at university. And as part of that, I know I come across a chap who's called um, Foucault. Now, He's, he's a, he can be a bit boring, so don't bother finding out about him because he is a bit boring. But he suggests that why would you write a book unless you're going to learn something from it? Now that, I think, is a really good idea. So whenever I'm writing something, I always try to make sure that I learn something from it. Now when I wrote Flight, I learned all sorts of things from it in that I learned a lot more about the Second World War than I knew before. I learned a lot about Austria. I learned a lot about um, mountains and the flora and fauna that grow on mountains and live on mountains. I learned about um, how to create the um, wooden structure that they carry Heinz in when he's injured. Sorry, spoiler alert there. Um, and the new story that I've just written and sent off, I've learned all sorts of things for that too. Um, I've had to learn about police procedures and things like that. That's been really exciting. I've been talking to policemen. So you can have great fun when you are writing stories. But first of all, think of that idea. Go and start your ideas book now. Go and find a notebook and put it on the front page. Draw it and colour it in. Make it look pretty and say, this is your ideas book. That's your task for today. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.